Welcome back guys, once your first time here, I'm Vision Hero Barner tampering you guys in our video. Today I got my trail reaction and review for the new Tales of the Walking Dead spin-off series of the main Walking Dead franchise. Now if the Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon to give some more Walking Dead content from me. Moving forward, now let's begin. So, like I said, we got our first official trailer for the new Walking Dead spin-off series, Tales of the Walking Dead. And now... I've honestly kind of felt meh towards the series so far. Um, from what I've seen from it, it just didn't grab me and hold my attention as some of the other stuff we've heard about from The Walking Dead. Um, we did get like a 30 second uh, like teaser trailer, which I didn't ever cover just because it didn't. I just felt like it didn't have enough substance to talk about. But now we got our first official trailer, and this is one again where I just kind of feel okay. Tales of the Walking Dead for me kind of feels like a bit of a cash grab from AMC's part. I mean, you got the main show that's ending, World Beyond ended, and it wasn't that great. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead is like, it's there. We know, we all know how that goes. And you got some of the other spinoffs, Iowa the Dead, the uh, the new Rick spinoff, the new Daryl spinoff. So you got a bunch of things going on there, and I feel like they need this though to kind of fill in that void right now and it, it just feels like a meh kind of series to me i'm definitely interested in it but just isn't as a series that i'm like super pumped and excited for there definitely are some episodes that i'm excited for like the one with um terry cruz i'm a huge fan of the actor so i'm definitely excited to see what they have for his character and what his story arc will be about or story episode will be about uh the one with the old man studying the dead definitely looks like an interesting character or uh episode that they'll have there um the one with the african-american guy looks interesting the only one that kind of i'm like mad about is the one with the two women and it's not i'm not being like anti them they just don't seem like very interesting or characters that just seem like you'd be you'd orbit towards like they just kind of seem like meh characters then you got the alpha episode and i like alpha i like what he has characters but to me this episode feels unnecessary i feel like we got so much information about alpha her backstory we're fresh off pretty much a whisper story and to me i'm like we don't need any more whisper content right now I know the whispers are people love the whispers they're like fan favorites but to me I would have personally preferred a governor episode right now rather than an alpha episode you know if they go on to a season two I would have preferred an alpha episode then and do a governor one now it just to me I just didn't I just don't I'm not in the mood for one right now just not to say that like I'm not gonna watch it or I'm not excited but it's just one that I'm like, okay, um, you know, they're doing that. Plus, there are some plot holes that they put into this one with Alpha. Because if you remember you know, back to Omega, the one where they had captured Woody and she was having flashbacks. You would have seen that she shaved her head right around the time she killed her husband. And then once we met her and ran into her, she had her, she was still, had her head shaved. The one with when she met Beta. So, it, it just is plot hole because if you look at her in this show she has hair so like that's either a plot hole or she grew her hair back up between the events of killing her husband and meeting beta so that's just definitely a big plot hole i have there these def this show definitely has potential to be good but they have to have interesting characters that people can uh you know relate to um want to see more of you know and and you gotta keep some of these characters around. You can't just kill them off in this one episode. So I really hope that some they have something planned. Maybe towards the end, maybe the final episode, maybe episode six is like these characters unite and form their own group or something. That'd definitely be an interesting aspect. I don't want them to join the whispers though. I'd prefer like the Alpha and Olivia story be separate. I and then the rest of the characters just have their own groups separate of the whispers. I think that'd be an interesting aspect. Maybe then you can even make a spin-off of those characters. Again, I don't know what we'll to wait and see how they play this out, what they do with these characters in these episodes. But it's definitely an interesting aspect for The Walking Dead, but I still feel like it's a bit of a cash grab on AMC's part. Trying to keep their franchise relevant and, you know, keep their their channel relevant. So to me, I'm excited and interested, but 
it's just not, uh, you know, something I care too much about. But, you know, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this show. Personally, I'd give it another, similar to the main show, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Definitely kind of drew my interest and made me more um, interested in this series, but nothing like crazy. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about the trailer. How hyped are you for Tales of the Walking Dead? What are you hoping to see? What are your expectations? Let me know all the good stuff in the comment section down below. So yeah guys, that's my trailer reaction and review for the new Walking Dead spin-off series, Tales of the Walking Dead. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to get a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon that miss more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. And go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which are linked in the best section on my YouTube channel. As always, I'm Vision Hero Boy Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.